Hi, I'm Bill Page with Brightview Landscape Services here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And just recently, we've run across this spotted lanternfly problem, which has become a huge issue here in Pennsylvania. In 2014, uh, a ship in a decorative stone was sent to a quarry here in southeastern Pennsylvania, and on that shipment of stone were spotted lanternfly eggs, which have since hatched and spread throughout southeastern Pennsylvania. Between 2014 and 2018, now we have this infestation of spotted lanternfly, what we're seeing today, uh, which we think is going to get far worse than it is now. Um, it's been found in 16 counties, I believe, in Pennsylvania to date as well as a few sightings in Virginia and New Jersey. So these spotted lanternfly are originally from Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos, and parts of China. In the U.S. here they have no known predators and are multiplying unchecked. So the spotted lanternfly sticks its nose in its host, sucks out the sugars and amino acids, but then begin to secrete uh, a honeydew. This honeydew becomes food for fungus, which stains the host black, and it blocks the tree's ability to produce its own food, and over time weakens the tree, and eventually they die. The host range here uh, is not only tree of heaven and some ornamental trees, but 70 other species of garden plants and commercially important agricultural crops as well, including grapes, hops, and some vegetable crops. Now, not only is this a problem aesthetically for the trees in your yard, but as far as an economic issue, this could have a huge economic impact, not only for Pennsylvania, but for surrounding states as well. So as a homeowner, you can periodically take a look at your trees and, and scout for the egg masses. Um, you can physically remove them, but also be aware that they may be higher up in the tree and at some point you may need some other control measures uh, to take care of this problem. There's a number of contact insecticides available to the homeowner which you can purchase at any of the hardware stores or the big box stores that easily control spotted lanternfly. You may need to reapply it several times throughout the season. There are also what are called systemic insecticides which you can mix in a bucket you can take a trowel or a shovel and make a trench around the crown of the tree and these materials are applied in that trench and are sucked up by the tree and can give you up to four months control. The most important thing though as you're doing these applications is to follow the label and follow the directions. As a homeowner, you know, these things are toxic and you should be aware of people, pets, neighbors, etc. Spotted lanternfly, they're not very strong flyers. They rely on wind current or wind direction more or less to actually float uh, from one location to the other, but it's also important to keep in mind that they can be transported in vehicles, on playground equipment, firewood, camping equipment, lawn furniture, anything outside you know, where these things could be hiding or actually hitch a ride to the next location. So you have to be cognizant of the fact of where you're moving from and to.